Welcome to the power refining portion of the resilience matrix. Doc, what will the user be learning in power refining? So in power refining, we've set the stage with your diaphragmatic breathing and creating that consistent oxygen flow to the heart. So now we're gonna start looking at the heart. Mm -hmm. So before we were looking at your breath, but you remember the two are working together, breathing and heart. So here we're now gonna see how is the heart responding. And this is gonna be your first look into your cardiovascular system. And okay. here we talk a lot about recovery, recovery points, which you're gonna learn more about. But this is very important that the heart gets into a state of coherence. And coherence is the consistency between your breath and the beating of the heart, which lays the foundation for all three of these things, energy, dynamic resilience, and flow state. Okay, so coherence, that's where we wanna be. Yeah. That's what we're training. How does someone train their coherence? Absolutely. You first have to get this consistent breath mm -hmm. and then understand that your heart has this variability of beat. Yeah. And heart rate uh, variability. Right? Yeah, a lot yeah. of people have heard about heart rate variability. Yeah. And what this is going to do is unlike other things where you're just taking a measure of heart rate variability to understand your recovery rates, this is actually going to improve your heart rate variability because you're going to be able to see what your heart's doing and how by adjusting your breath, the heart can get into this more consistent, steady state. So when our pulse happens, mm -hmm. we have slow beats and we have fast beats, and it's the average of all those that give us our heart rate. Yeah. But what we want to do is create a scenario where the natural fast beats start to equal the natural slow beats and create a balance between those. What okay. causes stresses in people is when they have too many of the fast beats and not enough of the calm beats. And what causes more fatigue and inattention is the reverse of that. And so what we're gonna create is this perfect coherence of fast beats and slow beats. And that all happens in this phase. Is that related at all to the autonomic nervous system and the parasympathetic and the sympathetic branches? Yes, absolutely. And this is really at the core of all of it is mm -hmm. if you can control the oxygen flow and subsequently control what the heart is doing in this phase, you're now taking the autonomic nervous system out of a state where it's just reacting to the environment, and now you're controlling its reaction wow. to the environment because you're able to regulate it by oxygen flow. And when we can control the autonomic nervous system upstream, we can control our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, and ultimately our behaviors and our output. Most of us are looking at output. How do we change it? Starts right here. So when we think about our performance and improving that, we have to always take that step back and impact the upstream of the autonomic nervous system and the heart to improve our downstream performance metrics. So that's what we'll be learning in power refining and best of luck. Let's go.